graph f of x equal to x squared plus 1 and then state its domain and its range. So let's try to uh, plot points in here. Let's choose values of x and then evaluate f of x for each value of x. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can select any value of x here. Uh, so let's see if you can choose x is equal to zero that's always a good case at least in most cases uh, x equal zero is a good choice because if you notice if i if i uh, replace x with zero this whole term disappears and i'm left with just one so when x is equal to zero f of x is equal to one we can also say f of zero is equal to one so zero one is a point uh, on the graph now we can select other values of x so we have one we can select one one square that gives me one one times two is two two plus one is three so one three is a point on the graph uh, we can choose two so what do we get when x is equal to you plug it in in the function you get two square which is four four times two is 8 and 8 plus 1 that's 9 so when x is 2 f of x is 9 so if you notice f of x is getting larger and larger so we need to be careful uh, what to choose for x we need to stop as far as the positive value of x so we can choose negative value of x now so when x is negative 1 when x is negative 1 if you plug in negative 1 in the function you get negative 1 square which is positive 1 1 times 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. Let's select one more point. So if we choose x is equal to negative 2, we get negative 2 squared, that's 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So when x is 2, f of x is 9. Uh, when x is negative 2, f of x is 9. So now let's plot the point. Um, Let's plot the point and draw the graph. So we have 0, 1 is a point on the graph that's on the y-axis right here. X, uh, then 1, 3, so x is 1. And f of x is 3, here's a point. 2, 9, when x is 2. f of x is 9. Okay. Now when x is negative 1, f of x is 3. So negative 1, 3 is a point. When x is negative 2, f of x is 9. So now connecting the dots. You know that you are getting a parabola and you see that the graph to the right of the y-axis is symmetric to the graph to the left of the y-axis so we have symmetry here so this is the graph of f of x is equal to uh, 2x squared plus 1 they also want us to find the domain, the domain in the range. The domain, if you recall, is the set of all values of x for which f is defined. Well, f is defined for all values of x. So uh, you can have any value of x. The domain is a set of real numbers. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity in interval notation. Now the range, the range is a set of all uh, values uh, that f can take. So let's see. Um, you notice that the graph is a parabola that opens upward. The the uh, smallest value of f is going to be one. There's no way you can have a you can have a value. Of f less than 1 so uh, because it's a parabola that opens upward so it's going to keep on going 
in that direction the smallest value it can have is one so the range is going from one and one is included to infinity